Welcome to Let's Be Real 100%, where we are 100% real about life. We know that life happens and we are here to talk about it. And when I say we, I'm talking about it's all God and little old me. Join us as we jump into our topic today. episode of Let's Be Real Wise and 100% Real about life. Yeah. So, we are definitely real about life, right? So, <laughs> I'm trying to say, I'm trying to, trying to say this with, I guess, I don't know, I'm just going to say it, right? Like, okay, so, um, I was talking to a friend of mine, and they really, it dawned on me, um, how we are in June, and we know June to be a full month of pride, um, as far as with the LBGT community, um, I know a lot of you, because I'm not going to put me in there, but a lot of us as church folks um, will look at this month and turn our heads and we will damn these people to hell and say oh you know they're going to hell because they're doing this that and the other Um, but I want to change your attention and your the way you do things Um, being a person that has struggled and at times, do still struggle. I'm not going to lie. We transparent, real, for real, for real. You know, those thoughts and all those things come about. Nothing's done. It's just a, you know, thought because the enemy will come back and try to use your past and try to destroy you and try to trip you up. Um, but knowing that God is faithful and I am determined to stay on the Lord's side um, because it's just what that is. Anyway, um, being a person that has struggled with that lifestyle who has who unfortunately enjoyed the lifestyle because it just seems easy you know in the world it wasn't worth it now don't get my words twisted okay um because the world did seem like it was easier it was more fun it was more brighter you didn't really have a whole lot of stress. It was a lot that you did not have to deal with um, because we we were so consumed with the devil and he really didn't have to bother us like that because he already had a brain. But anyway, being a person that has struggled with that, the same lifestyle, same sex lifestyle, um, wanting to be dominant, wanting to be that, um, that dude that every woman wanted, you know, and I became that. Um, And it was so easy to stay in that life um, because this is what it was. I I got what I wanted, you know. It's not, (laughs) it's just what that was, right? Um, But do you not know that this person that is living this lifestyle has a past, has an issue, has unforgiveness, has bitterness, has a broken heart, has... um, you know, molestation or have rape or have whatever, a lot of things that happen in that background that you don't see, but you're yet damning them to hell. How about if someone was to damn you to hell from your past? You know, your past was, you know, smoking and drinking and doing what they're doing. It might not have been as advanced as you Oh, sleeping with another woman, marrying them, or sleeping with another man and marrying them, or, you know, just living an alternate lifestyle, because all I love is alternate. Everything is, everything that's not God is alternate. Um, And it's not a good place to be, but I want you to turn your attention to prayer. I want you to be able to say, you know what, Lord, let me change my mindset on how I look at these people, because when they come to me, or they come to come inside the church house, I don't want to turn them away because they are a soul as well. God never, you know, turned away anybody. Like, he, 
you know, loved them because of their soul. And if who are we to send them to hell? Who are we to turn them away from the love of God? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, because God should have turned all of us away if that's the case. Um, but I thank God for his grace, his love, and his mercy, and his tender, his long suffering with us. Um, because it's definitely not promised. It's definitely something that we we must earn every single day because we're still in this world. But with this episode, with this quick moment of, you know, a turnaround thought, take this month to be like, you know what, Lord? <laughs> we know that you don't like this. We know you do, we, this is an abominable to you. But let one of them come to God, you know, whether it's by themselves or whether they're able to walk into a church house and be introduced to God or, you know, whatever it is, whether it's in the the, um, the parade that's about to happen, let the church go out and redeem them. Like, come on, like, let's go out and just grab these souls, you know, even if it's just saying, oh, Jesus loves you and he wants the best for you and he he created you the way he wanted you to be and you know give them the love of God don't give them you know don't beat them and bash them saying oh well you know if you don't turn your life around yeah you're going to hell we know those things we know we bound to hell that's just what that was you know I mean we know these things we shouldn't have to get beat with it though you know, if we go through the church, that's all we're going to hear. I don't, I didn't want to hear that. I didn't want to hear that because that's all I heard. Like, oh, if you don't give your life to God, if you don't turn back to God, you know, tomorrow's not promising you're going to hell. Okay. I hear you. But where's the love of God in this? You know, where, oh, you know, God loves you and he wants the best for you. And, you know, if you just turn your life to God, I promise he'll make it better. He's going to heal your broken heart. He's going to heal every, you know, broken piece in your life, you know, um, he's going to teach you how to forgive, he's forgiven you, you know, those kind of things, like, why, you know, we got to hear those things, you know, people who are struggling, not even with this LBGT, but the ones who are alcoholics or addicts of some kind, you know, they want to hear, they don't want to hear, you know, those things, because you're adding to the wound, like, okay, well, God don't, they already feel like God don't want them, or God neglected them and the, because of the situation that happened to them like you want to be able to show them love so anyway take this month and if you see one if you see somebody you know that's struggling or if you know someone that is struggling pray for them pray for them and allow God to do it you know what I'm saying let God do it because we are man we, y'all so, so quick to judge you know so let God be the one that turns them around. You plant the seed and let God do the increase, you know, um, because there's going to be so many um, out there, there's so many out there now, you know, but even for the the month of June, just like, even if it's just one soul, you know, let it be and then let that one person share their story and grab the next one, you know. So God has his map. God has the way he's going to do things. But just let him use you in prayer to pray for these people, to pray for the ones who are struggling, to pray that they come out and they see the light. They see what the rainbow really means. And it's a covenant between God and his people. Um, so, and not to switch it up and, and, and mess the rainbow up, but give them the true meaning of the rainbow. I'll introduce them to God or allow them to make the choice. Um, but yeah, anyway, come to God. Pray about it. Pray for them. Pray for everyone who is struggling out there. Because it's not easy. It's not easy. When I say that spirit grabbed me by the throat and had me bound. It had me bound. Like I just, I was willing to let go of everything. My family, my friends, my the ministry that I was in. I was willing to let go of God. I was willing to let go of everything because this spirit had me by the throat. I was willing to marry into this thing. Like I, I it, it was not easy. It's it's not easy, like it's not, you know, because he makes it so easy, he makes it so accessible, like he feels like, you know, this woman, for me, this woman is like, oh, she she knows my feelings, she knows when I can mess with me, she knows, you know, the ins and outs of me, I don't have to, you know, 
dedicated to a, a man who, whose head is always big and pride and, you know, who always controlling or whatever the case may be, you know, for a man, um, that can, you know, men are hard to deal with for females, you know, I, I guess I'm just speaking for me, but, um, it was easy for me to fall into the hands of another woman because, um, she was able to, to know who I was, you know, so, my, so even with that, um, y'all are here the rest of my testimony here in a little bit. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and just let y'all know to really pray for the ones who are out there struggling. Don't don't turn your back on them because God didn't turn his back on you. You ain't right? so I got to talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you for listening to Let's Be Real 100 percent when we're 100 percent real about life. We hope that you enjoyed the topic today, and we hope that you trust God more and more each day, and we hope to see you next week.